so first of all we'll have to install bootstrap in angular application and how we'll do that i press ctrl plus c that will end the session that is running right now and now we have to type the command npm install bootstrap save by using this command i should be able to successfully integrate bootstrap in my application see this is the node modules folder and if i expand it you will see that there is no folder named bootstrap i have to install it in the application to use it so that is why i have to run this command i press enter okay after running the query it says that bootstrap is integrated successfully into the application over here we can see that we have the folder now bootstrap in node underscore modules folder and we have to include the javascript file and the css file of the bootstrap into the application how will we do that this is the angular.json file and over here if you scroll down you have on line number 29 for me styles mentioned and this is taking the styles from this particular file currently this is styles.css in the source folder so over here we have to mention the styles as well as scripts and what will be the scripts it will include the js file from the bootstrap folder this is the js file that we want to include over here we'll take the relative path node underscore modules bootstrap then we have this folder js bootstrap dot bundle dot min dot js so we have mentioned the js file in the scripts so this is kind of global setting that we are making in the application and we'll also mention the css file this is not js it will be css strap dot min dot css in the css folder you can see this file over here so i have loaded it in angular.json and now what we'll do is we'll make some changes in app.component.html we want to remove everything that is currently existing and i'll just type this keyword hello over here to make sure that new changes are getting reflected i'll do an ng serve to run the application again okay great so the application is running now and we see that all of the content that we were seeing earlier on the browser we are not seeing now we are only seeing hello keyword that we have typed in app.component.html so what i want to do is i already have some html template for the landing page first of all what we'll do we'll add the header for our landing page so the template that i already have for the header i have referenced it from bootstrap website only so this is the one that we'll be using and i'll make the changes i'll save it it says page reload send to client great i don't have to rerun the application again and again and you see over here that the new nav bar is coming this is the header that we want to have in our application what we can do is make some changes on this this is hoc gadget shop so I have replaced that navbar with hoc gadget shop we'll keep home as it is and then we could have admin over here this could be inventory and this could be customers i'll just save it and we can check it also yes these are getting reflected 
inventory customers so you see this all of the changes are getting real time updated on our application whenever we are changing it and what i want to do is i can remove link and disabled as of now from the html template because right now we don't need those i have kept the drop down option available this is to make sure that you also understand how we use drop downs in the navbar and saving this so i come over here we have inventory and customers so these are the options that we are primarily going to change so i hope you have all understood how we have integrated bootstrap successfully into the application and utilize the css over here for our landing page now what we'll do is we'll add a component for inventory